So yet again, I'm on my way to work in the old LS430. Beautiful day here, sun shining, and uh, this bloody car's developed a misfire. It kind of started a little bit just after the last time we gave it a service, and it was oh, it was an oil and filter change and a, and a couple of air filters, and we did the ACIS. So with that fixed, Jace drove it down to the racing, uh, or the like a, a auto meet here in New Zealand, car, car meeting for the weekend, and he uh, got awesome fuel economy on the way down, and it just it dropped a little bit on the way back. I've been driving it, I've uh, actually, we've done 4,000 k since then, not very many, just, we tend to drive quite a lot. And it just has this little burble. If you drive it, well if I drive it for about an hour, it gets worse. Open road, you don't notice it too much, but it's just, it's just lacking in power a little bit, just a smidgen. A lot of people wouldn't notice. So, up in the revs, it's fine. I'm just going to sit it here. We'll go have a look at the, we'll go have a listen to the exhaust. I'm waiting for it. It's smooth. There it is. Thank you. So I'm heading to the workshop to get it sorted. Other things I noticed is like that the trans is a bit funny. Open road on cruise control, real cool. Um, coming along and you're just just getting a little bit of load, like climbing a hill, and it will misfire a couple of times and kicks down a gear. This car is now also due for a camp out. Oh, the old Lexus is needing all this work. Uh, it was there was some planning though. Um, I would like to do and show a step by step video of doing a camp out on a VVTI, and it didn't matter whether it was a one UZ or a three UZ. The process is pretty much the same in a car, in a motor vehicle, because uh, lots of guys are still struggling with that. With the ACIS working, it is way nicer to drive, and I actually still haven't flashed the ECU. This is running on a stock ECU at this point in time. One thing I've noticed with is the fuel economy, um, not as good as it normally is. Open road driving, which I've just been doing, um, it is presently sitting on 11.3 liters per 100 gas. I would normally get 10.5. Jason, this last time he drove it, um, going down to Manfield, he got uh, 9.5 litres per hundred case on the open road. Uh, I was going to do a separate video on doing tapper cover gaskets, but that's going to be done when we do the cam belt because I will be doing cam sets. Right, I'm going to get to this workshop, get some work done, we'll throw some plugs on it, check some coils. See if this is going to be part one, or whether it's just going to be as simple as some spark plugs. I've opened the bonnet. That's a good place to start for looking for misfires. And we're going to get in here. Hello. Top cover's coming off. I had the intake off last week too. Had the airbox off, I have to take the airbox off again. You had the off last week, what the fuck is that now? Three weeks! Four weeks ago. Four weeks! Maximum size wire. That's cool. I'm gonna take this cover over here off.
there's a screw down here on the air intake. Now I've already done this hose here, so it's nice and soft, it comes off nicely. Set the air intake off, like so. Right, I'm going to replace this hose with the proper one. So we've got this uh, new piece of PCV hose. Oh. Now I'm going to unplug all the coils. See how many uh, plugs break. Oh, they're replacing them next time. Mind you... You didn't do the coil plugs. Did you? Yeah, you did, um, like dry by wire, you did a couple of injector plugs, VCT plugs, or VVTI plugs, you didn't do any coil plugs, and you did the cam angle sensor plugs, right then we undo the coils, They've got little 10mm nuts on them, uh, bolts on them. Someone has gone through at some point and uh, numbered all my coils. Check they're not cracked down the edge, they're prone to cracking right here. Check there's no flashing on them, which is where the spark escapes down the side. Someone's put a different um, bolt in the back one. Oh, look, there's something going on here. Oh, it's going, is there something there? Might be okay. Just keep them in order. This one, saturated in oil, totally saturated. Nice clean oil though. So what happens there is the oil will, will uh, work its way on this rubber boot and it'll swell up. And it can cause misfires as well. This vehicle is due for tablet covers, gaskets. Oh, look at that. Might be easier for me just to throw this coil away and put another one on it. I've got spares. Right, other side. These coils. So this tube pipe here, with this hose. This is not just a normal bit of hose. Now guys, I often say about just go get a universal piece of hose. There's actually a restrictor in it guys. So then people can have problems with their cars because it's meant to have a restrictor in it. Jase, did you keep the old hose that we um, keep got out of this car? The breather hose? Did it get put on one of the benches and left? No, no, no. I don't know either. It'd be nice to cut it open and actually show the restrictor, wouldn't it? Maybe show it in the yeah. I did show it in the last video, but I didn't. I didn't cut it open though and show it. Right, so I've got all the coils out. Now to extract the spark plugs. Oh, 
Oh, these spark plugs have been in a long time, Jace. Okay, it's not a good sign. The spark plugs have been in there way too long. And they're firm, and it doesn't feel nice. They're actually burning pretty nicely, that one. Nice clean. It's an it's a NGK IFR 6T-11. A little bit of leakage around here. Thread was dry and yuck. Um, I'm putting uh, Denso SK20 R11s back into it. There you go. Next one to come out. Yeah. That's the buzz gun. The other way is too slow. I'm not going to put them back in with the buzz gun, Jace. Whoa, look how much oil was up the spark plug tubing. All the oil. Just think, oil cool plugs. I think that was where the problem is. This is things done 100,000 100, K since had a camera. Probably never had a tapper cover gas yet. Plugs are actually in pretty good order. Except the fact that this one's oil cooled. Yeah. Up to the other oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The oil cooled uh, coil, so the coil was oil cooled. Yeah. Right, these back holes. Oh, I gotta clean this tool off. So the back holes, what I'm going to do is I'm feeding this, and then I feed in another shorter one on top. Oh, I get in trouble for banging or hitting something. Right, as it comes out, extension comes off, out comes the spark plug. So a lot of guys struggle to know how to look at spark plugs. We're looking at the color, if it's a nice color. We're also looking at the, the, the center electrode and whether it's rounded on the back of the tip and the front edge of the ground electrode. Here I'm talking about a non-wasted spark coil, so a direct fire uh, spark plug. And as it wears, they wear from the front edge and it'll jump to that center electrode and it'll wear and round that center electrode. There is some wearing on these, some, some rounding. They're not terrible, but it's a good time to change them. I need two more, thanks to Jason. I think I've only got seven of them. Oh, six of them. My Lexus isn't a six cylinder, Jason. What do you need me for? Was that bush truck that you did the other day? Somehow we managed to fit an uneven number of spark plugs into it. Right, we're over this side. Uh, oh, that's a you problem, not mine. <laughs> that's a you problem, thanks. Right, in we go. Zzzz. That's tight, eh? Oh, I need a wiggly. I wonder how wigglies are worn out. Oh, 
Oh man, my spark plug socket isn't giving the spark plug. There it is. Okay, uh, this coil covered in oil is going in the rubbish bin. I have spares, guys, so I kind of can cheat. I only use Nippon Denso plugs. These are the plugs I use in pretty much all of my UZ engines. Iridium, Denso, Iridiums. Uh, don't get caught up in listings. I used to fit spark plugs like five to eight cars a day. Spark plugs, because the company's called The Car Tune Company. And I used to go, well, these this car's meant to have a PK20 R11. Um, but as I've grown and grown in knowledge, I learned that, well, the P is for platinum, I is for iridium. It's the same plug with a different metal. So it's easy to cross over in them. Uh, some guys swear by the NGKs, and the NGKs are a fantastic plug. I like my Denzos, because they are uh, the main recommended plug for Toyota. But NGKs are actually recommended for some as well. Hey, I'm biased. I actually used to fit hundreds of NGK plugs. I fitted hundreds of Bosch spark plugs. Um, but it's applying them correctly to the job. This one, standard car, so a standard spark plug is going to work. And... Um, do not use copper coat in an aluminium cylinder head. As an anti seize, that's bad. These plugs, have, the spark plugs have been in there, the holes are a bit yucky. Um, they should just screw down all the way by hand. So I've put some workshop glitter, nickel anti seize. Loctite, nickel anti seize 771. So now let's slam some spark plugs back in the hole. Uh, gaps, standard 1.1. Real simple, don't change them, don't touch them. Checking that the center electrode and the earth electrode stay parallel is really important with spark plugs. Those fillings, those um, fuel pillars, they come in Kimmel? Things, so oh, I do actually have some tendrils that I got by mistake. Do you have some? Yeah, they're in the office. In the box. Go have a look in the office box. Underneath Bronwyn's special magic box. I'm sure there's some in there. Okay. We probably should talk about how tight to do spark plugs up as well. You'll see now, with the workshop glitter on there, the bit of lube, I am actually able to screw the spark plugs down, and I'm taking them pretty much all the way down to their seat. Not quite, there's still a little bit of ugliness at the bottom, but they're a lot nicer. Ta no. So this one didn't quite get down to the seat. I'm going to just bring it down. So there it's on its seat. And just a little bit more. Okay, don't get carried away. It's got it on the box. Um, for a new one, quarter to half a turn, okay? Mr. Kelper. So there it's on its seat. So we just had a slight interruption. Mate came to see us with his uh, with the buggies that he builds. Very clever man. 
Oh, that holds pretty gritty. I was also going to do a show coil testing. We'll do coil testing another day because it's probably it's a video on its own. Right, while um, you guys weren't watching, I got in and I wiped all the coils of any oil and contaminants. And actually having a look, this hose that I changed, this one here for the PCV valve, uh, turns out there are different ones on the 3UZs. The Crown 3UZ has a different breather hose. Uh, because it goes on to a different fitting on the throttle body. Right, with the spark plugs fitted, put the coils back in. Plug them back in. And put the bolts back in. And the same on this side. I'm going to reassemble the intake, air filter back on it, and then we'll fire it up and make it go in just a moment. Right, what's going to happen when I hit the go button? What goes out the back? A whole lot of smoke from that oil that's gone down that hole. There's quite a lot of oil in it. What's the smart comments happening over here? Fuck down the throttle leg. Pull motor out. Pull motor out. That's what I was going to do when I, before I bought it. Well, when I bought it, I was going to pull the motor out. It's still out to be a good drive car. Yeah, it's a really nice drive car. It's, it's, it's a nicer drive car than my nice drive car. Actually, my nice drive car feels like a pile of crap drive car now because I've been driving the, a dirty old Lexus. The thing's eight years older than my nice car. What? Um, no, yeah, my Subaru. I know it is a Subaru. I might actually sell the Subaru and keep the Lexus. Ah, right, look, it's good. We're now going for a drive. We're going to put a cover on it, and we're going to give it a test drive and see what it goes like, and the smoke will clear. Misfire still there a little bit. Still got a little bit of a misfire surge, you think? We had an appointment we have to get to to pick up a vehicle, so I had to call uh, the whole job uh, a little bit short. So uh, it's better, but there is.
is still a bit of a burble, a bit of a misfire down low. So uh, catch you next time when we test the course and continue with this job. And um, I'll do it in a separate video. Do it again soon. Thanks for You right there? Yeah. Buh, 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 buh.